Hi there! So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a find that I had at Akihabara, the local electronics district in Tokyo. And that is a... ESP32. So these started showing up in Akihabara probably in the middle of February or so. So it takes a little bit of time for these kind of things to show up locally. Anyway, this is the ESP W Room 32 module. And it's authorized for use in Japan as evident with the technical performance mark that you can see right over there. So one of the nice things about the ESP32, as many may be already aware, is that there's going to be a lot more GPIO ports and such compared to ESP266. So this will be kind of interesting as it will allow us to do more projects that require more I.O. But as you can see, this is just the module itself. It's going to be hard to be playing with them when a breadboard and such. So I went to another store and purchased a breakout board. So this is a breakout board that will allow us to change the pitch of the pins and change the arrangement so that we can plug into a breadboard. So I went ahead and tried to get this at the store when the lady at the checkout let me know that there's another version that just came into their store. This one actually has a, a ground pad that can connect to the pad on the module itself and it also, as you can see, the power traces are a lot thicker compared to the one I was holding up earlier. So if we compare the pins, yeah. if we compare the traces, I have another one. As you can see, the traces for the ground and 3.3 volt inputs are a lot thinner on this board compared to the new board over here. Now one of the challenges for this new breakout board is going to be that I'm going to have to be able to solder the ground pad of the ESP32 module onto this in some way. Since I don't have a way to reflow this, I'm going to have to find a way to be able to solder this ground pad onto this board somehow. So anyway, that's the kind of things I found at Akihabara lately, so maybe in the coming weeks I'll be able to do some kind of ESP32 project as well. All right, so that's as much as I have for today. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.